What's up, Aries? Thank you guys for tuning in to your love reading. Um, this is going to be for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Also, check your North Node and check what signs in your 7th house and what house your Sun and your Venus fall into. Um, it won't resonate with every single Aries, you guys, and that's okay. Uh, check out one of your other placements. Free yourself. Check out one of your other placements. And... Um, passion that one might work out for you or check out all of your placements okay those might work out for you Ooh, finances and career oh i'm just picking up all kind of stuff finances and career and flirt on the bottom i also saw new love a few times too so you guys might have some new love coming in um my emails in the description box you guys so you guys to email me any spiritual questions advice um topics that you want talked about on the channel um, you guys can also email me about personal readings. You can also check out the Etsy. Um, the Etsy doesn't have all of my readings that I'm offering yet, but I will try to get that updated this week. So in the meantime, you guys can just email me if you see something you don't see, you know, what you're needing on the Etsy. Uh, so yeah. All right, Aries, let's get started. Let's see what's going on, Aries. All right. <sighs> Spirit, clarify for yourself for Aries of love. Ooh, it says it's time to take back control of your life and the seven of swords flipped over. Whoa, okay, so did you guys, you, you're freeing yourself from some type, somebody's sneaky energy or some type of deceit or betrayal that you, um, you may have dealt with um, from someone, from a past person. We want to see how this all comes together. Spirit, clarify passion for Aries and love. The Six of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel like for some of you guys, you may have someone coming in, possibly an earth sign, that is going to sh actually show you what it is, what it means to give and take in, in, a, uh, a, um, in a relationship or, a, um, you know, some type of union. Um Aries, that's that's a good energy to have there. Spirit, clarify finances and career. And it says finance, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. But let's see what the clarifier says. Spirit, clarify. Yeah, you guys, oh yeah. Oh, Aries. Are you guys dealing with some type of financial turmoil? So we have the Eight of Pentacles here that came out, and we have the Tower. Um, so I feel like some of you guys may have dealt with a recent um, financial mishap. <laughs> I, I use that as, as a lighter term for it. But I feel like you guys have gone through something really, really, really uh, major in your financial life. And you're working, with Eight of Pentacles, you're working to correct it. Um, you're working to build your finances back up. Um, with this free yourself in the Seven of Swords, it could be something to do with this. It could be something to do with uh, someone may have betrayed you financially. It doesn't have to be that. It could be something, uh, something else. Spirit, clarify, flirt. For Aries in love. Clarify flirt for Aries in love. And it says extend your lighthearted energy to others. Yeah. The six of swords. Okay, so um judgment on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, you guys moved uh, moved away from, from something. Also, you guys, um, this could be oh, you guys have two sixes. This could be you guys are needing to um, maybe, I'm trying to think of a way to put it, change your energy around a little bit so you can move away from whatever this issue is from the finances and career. Although I don't really see you guys are really, really hung up on what happened with your finances. Um, I feel like with the Six of Swords here, you guys need to kind of move away from um, any type of negativity or negative thinking that comes with, you know, with this. Because it's going to, it, it's, I see that it's going to um, balance itself out. So I clarify, free yourself in the Seven of Swords. <gasps> no way, y'all. No freaking way. 
Yeah, you guys just recently ended a relationship. We got the tower on this side as well, came out again, and we have the nine of pentacles. Yeah, you guys have recently found out about a betrayal, and now you're single, okay? Um, but this nine of pentacles is a good omen. Some of you guys, uh, you may still be in a situation, and you are contemplating freeing yourself, and um, you're not quite sure if you should. Um, the spirit is saying with this nine of uh, the nine of pentacles here, it, it will work out in your favor if that's what you're contemplating on doing, uh, moving forward. But once you move forward from whatever, um, tower, I feel like whatever you found out about a situation caused a huge tower moment. It could have been emotionally as well as financially. Um, but yeah, once you free yourself from that energy, you, it will definitely pay off for you. Aries. Spirit, clarify passion in the Six of Pentacles. Oh, yes. The Four of Wands. Yeah, this is also the 11-11 card, which, which can also be the soul, the soulmate card as well. Um, some of you guys, I'm, I don't just pop into my head that some of you guys might be moving um, to a new house. It could be because of your the financial situation or whatever happened financially had to do with your house. The Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, things are going to turn around for you guys, though. Okay? With this passion here, you guys, you may also need to um, tap into things that you're passionate about. Find something that you're passionate about and put your energy into that. So, with the Six of Pentacles here and the Four of Wands, I feel like you guys might have something um, in you that you need to share with others or share with the world. Okay, that, that you're passionate about that could also bring you some some type of stability, some um, monetary gain. Okay, spirit, clarify finances and career for Aries. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> woo, the four of pentacles. Whoa, yeah. So now, yeah, now you guys are like holding on to your money with the ace of wands on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, but you guys definitely have some type of idea. You have some type of idea that you can actually take public or take, you know, if you're thinking about writing that book or publishing that book, you know, go write that book. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube, go start that YouTube, you know, because it is going to pay off. You're going to have to put in the work. You got to put in the work to do it, but it will pay off for you, you know, and eventually okay um but i do see you guys a penny pension um because of whatever financial situation happened which is understandable um but you know and also guys don't hold on to your uh to your gifts that you should be sharing with the world or you should be sharing with others okay you know release release some of that stuff out and it'll it'll start you know paying off paying off for you all right, Spirit, clarify, flirt for Aries in love. Clarify, flirt. This is very similar to the Pisces reading because it's like not really much to do with love. Wow. So we got the three of pentacles, up, three of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Some of you guys might uh, be meeting a Gemini or you have Gemini in your chart. Um, sorry, y'all, my phone's ringing. Okay, my bad, y'all. Um, so, yeah, so we have the lovers here. These are both, the well, the lovers is Gemini, and we have the magician, which is Gemini and Virgo. Yes! So you guys definitely need to kind of get out, maybe start accepting some dates. Um, I see some of you guys are starting to um, try to manifest love and some of you guys are probably trying to manifest your financial situation getting better. And I see that it is going to work out. For some of you also with this lover's here and the magician, some of you guys might have a choice on which direction you want to go um, as far as which way you want to go to fix your financial situation. Okay, it could be you or someone in your energy. So, um, yeah, once you make that choice, Aries, stick to it. Stick to Stick to the choice. But I see someone... Someone also might be around you trying to manifest you as well. Yeah. Someone might be around you trying to manifest you. Spirit, what else does Aries need to know regarding this love situation? 
What else does Aries need to know regarding this love situation? What else does Aries need to know regarding this love situation? It's what this really wasn't even like love. This is like, and again, Aries, this could be someone that is close to you that could be going through this. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so we have the seven of pentacles here. And we have the king of swords. Yeah. You guys are definitely going to, it's going to take some patience and some work to get out of whatever financial situation that you're in or whatever situation that you're in or whoever is close to you that's going through this. It's going to take some type of patience. It's going to take, um, once you put in the work though, you're going to see the fruits of your labor. Okay. And it, it sometimes, it, sometimes with this, it comes like at, at a surprise. Um, so yeah. Aries, this wasn't necessarily love. <laughs> you may also be getting assistance too with this King of Swords. You may be getting assistance from some from an air sign. Lots of air energy here, particularly Gemini, um, that will come in and help you with um, getting this together. You might get a, a business partnership with a Gemini. Um, you might go over you might talk over your your business idea or something along the lines of that with the gemini or something along the lines of that so yeah aries not really love related other than you know you walking away from your past a betrayal from your past um but overall it's a, it's a good energy you know um yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say other than um i hope this resonated with you aries um if it did, hit that like, hit that subscribe. I appreciate all the likes, the comments, the uh, love offerings, everything, y'all. And until next time, y'all, peace out.